Plastic pollution in our waterways is very dangerous, not only because of the harm it inflicts on animals in the environment, but also because of the health risks it poses to humans. Plastics give off toxic chemicals, which inevitably ends up in our drinking water, shower water, and swimming water. Plastics also break down into microplastics, which fish, birds, and other creatures consume and can possibly die from. Microplastics in animals also harm humans because many of those creatures are eaten by humans. Therefore, humans are consuming that plastic as well. Single-use plastics are so convenient and we don't, we don't pay the true cost of single-use plastics. So when a consumer gets a water bottle, you're not really paying for the cost of the full life cycle of that plastic item. You are paying for the convenience of being able to take it to your car, to consume it, but society is left to pay the cost of that single-use plastic. And so, because it's cheap, because consumers are not being charged the true cost of dealing with that plastic, uh, there's no economic incentive to not continue to produce more and more of it. The chemicals that are within the plastic help break down the plastic in the water over time. The time span of the breakdown varies for each type of plastic. For example, water bottles take about 450 years, while chip bags take about three to six months. Once the plastics are broken down, toxic chemicals are released into the ocean. So microplastics originate from large macroplastics that break down into smaller and smaller pieces. They, and so over time, they will accumulate a higher and higher load of these organic pollutants and they can be passed on up the food web and if at some point we become part of that food chain then we're ingesting those uh, organic pollutants as well. What did the environmental science class build to remove microplastics from the Mississippi River water sample? We built a density separator. This device takes the water sample from the river and filters out the plastics. How does the density separator work? From the sanitary tea PVC at the bottom, uh, there is a tube that connects to um, that connects to um, sea salt water, um, and that pumps into the sample. The salt water has a higher density than the plastic. This will cause the plastic to rise to the top and exit out of the top sanitary tea PVC. What did the class do with the microplastics after they were removed? We measured the plastics with a ruler, looked at them under a microscope to identify if they were clear or colored. What, do you, what did we hope to learn? Uh, we wanted to learn about how much plastic was in our waters. It's really crazy to see the amount of plastic just all along the water because it kind of showed that this is the water that we're drinking from and it's all connected. So it actually affects us in our everyday life. And you can think about all the marine animals that are in this water and also the birds around it that are probably eating the plastic because they think it's food or just like it gets into the waterways and chemicals get into the water for the fish. So it affects all of the animals in there and that was really crazy to think about. Mm -hmm.